Oh, hi there. It's just me, some furry trash from Germany with a stupid nickname, Cleaner Wolf. And in this video I want to do something different, because in the past two years a lot of things have changed. And therefore I want to talk a little bit about myself this time, and I will explain to you guys why I'm standing in a virtual Estrell hotel looking like this. Let's start with a flashback to the year 2000, because that was a year when I published my custom player model for the Ega Shooter Quake 3 Arena. And at the time, I didn't know anything about furries. I didn't even know the word. But after releasing that model, I got in contact with other furries and also found furry galleries on the internet and message boards. And I started to go to conventions. I made photos and videos and this was my way to give something back to the community that gave so much to me and improved my life so much. It was like creating some kind of happiness feedback loop and being an active part of the furry fandom. Yeah, however, uh, fast forward to the year 2020, the pandemic hit us and with it came that social distancing nightmare. No conventions, no parties, everybody locked at home. So what to do now? And then Raimajo told me about his idea of recreating part of the Estrell Hotel, the location of the Eurofans convention, in the virtual world for VR chat, and asked me to help him out on that project. And I didn't have to think about it for a second, because two years before that I made a video about a fictional computer game that was about walking around about a virtual Eurofrance as a first suitor, interacting with other people, hugging other people. And this idea sounded like, yeah, it's like making kind of that uh, computer game idea a reality. So virtual friends happened because a crazy bunch of people decided to spend the whole summer in front of their computers working on stuff to make it happen. And my part of it was to make uh, thousands of photos in the real Estrell Hotel. They were used to recreate some part of the 3D geometry in a process called photogrammetry. They were also used as reference and also as source for textures. And also my job was to build the basic structure of the hotel, the walls, the roof structure. And those are exactly like the real ones. That is amazing. They're so close to um, our photogrammetry scan that we did of the whole hotel. And uh, yeah. extremely realistic instead of just copy pasting stuff. Uh, I doing that extra mile and... <laughs> I just pushed some polygons around in Blender until it looked kind of like the S12, that's all. You spent, you spent like more than a week on that roof structure. Just yeah. the roof. <laughs> Oh boy. And then how you like reduce yes. the polygons by in, by half, and now the whole yes. structure is less polygons than one avatar normally is. The virtual friends project was also the starting point for me to use VR chat, of course. And before the pandemic and before the virtual friends project, I was never really interested in virtual reality in general. I was always like, why should I spend so much money on VR equipment? There is not much interesting content, so it's not worth it. But nowadays, I think that buying a VR headset was definitely one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. Because it cannot be described in words and it also cannot be shown in videos. What kind of magic is happening there? You really have to experience it yourself. You have to put the headset on, on get into some virtual world and look around and realize, wow, okay. It's not like looking through a window 
into that world anymore. I'm in this world now. I'm part of it. I can interact with the world and with other people. I can touch them. I can pet them. I can hug them. I never imagined how much of a mind-blowing experience and how much of a brain fuck it would be to use VRChat. And even after two years uh, of using it now, it still blows my mind to think about it that we have the technology nowadays that makes it possible to be in the same virtual room with other people and to interact with them in real time no matter where they are located on this planet and that this technology is affordable nowadays so during the pandemic VRChat became the most important platform for me to stay in contact with the furry fandom to socialize, to have parties, and also to make some new friends. However, on the other side, I don't want to say that <laughs> virtual reality is a replacement for the real thing. Of course it is not. And I am very happy about uh, real conventions happening again now. And I am really looking forward, for example, to go to Euro France again this year because I love your friends and I will continue to make photos and videos at those conventions but no matter how this whole pandemic thing goes on VRChat became some kind of parallel universe for me uh, with another group of friends that I can only meet in VRChat but will probably never meet in real life and on the other hand, I have a group of friends that I can only meet in real life, but they still don't use VRChat. This is great for me because uh, I, I don't get to go to the big international cons anyway because I'm here in Africa and it's just way too expensive to go across a whole continent for a single con. So... Yeah, but that's exactly yeah, for the intention. Real, like, <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah. one of the main purposes of this, to bring people together that could, couldn't come uh, together in the real the world. The screen so is here! What if we can, uh, yes. no? It is wonderful. Yeah. All right, guys, let me show you something. Just follow me. And here we are in the avatar pedestal room of Virtual Friends, where you can choose different public avatars to test them and play around with them. In the beginning of the video I talked about my custom player model for Quick 3 and how it was kind of my entry ticket to join the furry fandom. And this year I went back to those roots and made another custom avatar. And you probably guessed it already, it's for VRChat. <laughs> and it's this one. So I'm working on this for more than a year now and I'm still far away from calling it finished but I think this puppy matured enough now to release it to the public to let it run free and to share it with you guys so if you go to the room behind that machine where you can buy the room tickets you will find those panels here on the wall not only the awesome avatars made by Hayu and Alex Lotto but also now my avatar and then you can just select it here. Okay, here you have it. The public version of my avatar. Play around with it, have fun with it. Also try all the customization options in the expression menu. Uh, I will make a separate video about that later. And don't hesitate to join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And if you like the avatar and want to support me, and want to get access to all the source material, like 3D models, textures, documentation, you can buy it on Gumroad now. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that was it with this video. Maybe see you around in VRChat or some real convention. Until then, take care, 
but also have fun, think positive and stay fluffy. Bye. Mm -hmm.